Do you guys know who's been playing BDO for just two months and has a net worth of over 16 billion silver? This guy! And I'm gonna show you how I make 50 million silver a day with just 20 minutes of work. Smash like! Hey guys, welcome to the six steps out of my BDO progression series. And it's officially been two months since I started this fresh start journey. And the progress has been amazing. I'm really happy with it. And I'm gonna show you guys what I've got so far, what I'm gonna buy next. And then we'll hop into how I make that 50 mil a day through minimum effort. Spoiler alert! Imperial cooking, farming. So, let's get to it. So first I'm going to show you guys my storage and what I have so far. So the latest item I bought is the Begs Gloves. Now, my AP's at 236. I'm happy with it for now. I'm going to buy the remaining armors, the Oregons, the helmet, and the armor piece. I don't know which I'm going to go for in terms of the helmet. I might go Griffins or I'll go He's, but I haven't decided yet. I will soon enough. So we have about 15 and a half, um, 15.4 billion in worth in this storage. Um, of course, in Heidel there's a little bit, uh, 184, Calfion it's about 40 mil plus 185. And also in my marketplace, that's another three to 400 mil. Um, so overall over 16 billion in worth, I'll say. So let's get this out and I'll show you guys what I'm gonna buy next, which is gonna be most likely a Tet Orgons. Let's see the price. So it's been fluctuating quite a bit. So I hope to buy it this weekend. Uh, it's been like up and down, up and down. So I'm going to try to get in that 2.4 mark or something if I can. Uh, let's see if I can buy it for that much if it drops down again. But if not, I'll just pay the extra 100 mil, whatever, and just get it. Because it's going to be a pretty big upgrade. That's going to be 38 DP and a lot of damage reduction. So I really need it. So now, how do I make that 50 mil a day um, through minimum effort? Uh, one, imperial cooking, and two, farming. Why I do this every day is because even though that's a small amount of silver, um, it will add up. Every month, that's equal to 1.5 billion, and that's almost like a TED or a TRI accessory, right? So uh, it's definitely worth doing. If you don't know how to do imperial crafting or farming, there are many guides out there, but I'm just going to give you a quick overview of how I'm doing it. Um, every day, I just get the... Um, items for the professional box and I just uh, put them together with Imperial Cuisine and turn them in. Now the higher the cooking the better the reward can be and if you make your own food uh, you'll make a lot more money but I'm just buying it off the marketplace uh, that's good enough for me uh, that nets me around 25 to 30 million a day and the next, the next thing, thing I do is of course farming um, thanks Marksman and all the other guys in my Twitch chat who recommended I start doing this um, so I started a few days ago. It took about two days for me to hit Artisan, but I'm sure um, if you play from um, morning to evening or something, you can hit it a lot sooner. How you do it is first you need to get about 100 contribution points free and buy 10 strong fences. You could use less, but um, I prefer to do it the most efficient way here. So in order to find the NPC who sells you the fence, just type in fence in your search bar here. Um, you want to get 10 strong fences. Um, if you have master one, you can use the old moon fences, but of course I had no farming experience. So I went straight to um, Heidel and I went to the material vendor over there. His name's uh, Flaviano. <laughs> and um, I bought 10 fences and I ran over to Heidel and I dropped my fences down here uh, next to Logia Farm where pretty much majority of us uh, tend to drop it. And right now I'm making magic garlic. Um, I started off with uh, special garlic seeds and once you get artisan, when you breed them, you have a chance to get the magic seeds. Once you get your strong fences, come down to Heidel. And the best way I found to place them was to have two rows of five in each row um, so I can have them in clusters. Now I'm growing magic garlic seed. So I keep them all in this corner here like this um, because I'll be able to use my fertilizer and um, drop water for them uh, much easier. In the middle I have uh, two clusters right here and in the last four I have them clustered over here. So this way I'm using less fertilizer and water to help them grow quicker. You don't have to do this you can just uh, let them grow normally and just uh, probably prune and remove the pests every every time you get a chance but um, uh, of course, if you want to be more AFK, just, you know, drop the plants down in the morning, check it at night, drop them down again, and then check them in the morning again. Um, up to you. 
the more you can play the more money you'll make from this so now i'll show you how i manage the farm once everything is grown i come to each uh square and this is what i do first i'll breed when I have two of the magical seeds again, I'll stop breeding and start harvesting. So first, let's try this out. So I got one magical seed here. That means I use breed again in the next one. So I got one more. So the, bo the money I made from this comes from the byproducts and the fruit of the crimson flame. Now I drop them back down again. And move on to the next one. So now we got two magical seeds. That means I can use harvest on the next one because I already got the two seeds I need for this quadrant. So harvest, and this is pure profit. All right, so that was about 1.5 mil for that harvest. So that's pretty good. So I drop these seeds down again and try to keep them as close together as possible and move on to the next one. So once you have all the seeds planted in your cluster, you wanna first drop the fertilizer and then wait till the cooldown and then drop the water. If you check out the stats, here is where you'll see the, fertile, the fertility of the soil and how much water the plants have available to them. So you wanna to try to keep, keep this up because sometimes it'll go down quicker and if it hits zero, it's going to take a longer time for the plants to grow. All right, this is the last cluster here. Just fertilize them and drop some water. They should be good to go. Usually, if you're in a good region where the plant thrives, you don't need to drop water. But I just do it anyway because I did find that sometimes um, it ran out really quickly. So, yeah, that's about it. And I've gotten, in this session about 921 garlic and i still need to um harvest this one so i've got i can consider this as around 1.05 around 1050 garlic so that's a little over 10 mil and i can do this about two to three times a day me personally i do it three times a day because i have um availability i'm on a lot so uh depending on how much you can play uh, you can make more money or less money or be more afk or more active it's up to you. So in terms of imperial cooking and farming, I make about 50 to 60 mil a day, which is um, awesome income. It's a uh, steady income and reliable. So I wish I'd been doing this since day one. So uh, unfortunately, I didn't. I was completely ignoring life skills, which I regret. But, you know, I started now and I hope to, by the summer, start making around 150 mil a day with the guru cooking. So let's see how I do with that. By May, I should be... Um, I should be like in the 260 range with Nuver in terms of AP. Um, I'm aiming to hit soft cap by end of March, mid April, and then I can start doing the higher spots like Histria, Achman, or even um, get some groups at Murmox, hopefully. So, yeah. So, if you guys have any questions, drop them down in the comment section below, and you can find my Discord details there as well. And feel free to reach out for anything. I stream on Twitch, Mixer, and YouTube three times a week. So you can check me out at twitch.tv slash impansy or mixer.com slash impansy or this YouTube channel. So if you guys have any questions, just feel free to reach out. Don't worry about it. And hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the next one.